And welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. Today's short video, I'll be showing you how to set up your Dero node using the fast sync setting. Now, what fast sync allows you to do is just have to download a minimal amount of data to actually sync your node to the Dero blockchain without having to actually download all of the data that is currently on every single block on the Dero network, which I think at this point now is about 46 gigabytes. So that takes quite a bit of time. This allows you to actually sync your node within 15 minutes or less. So we're going to just do that right now. But before we jump into it, if you're enjoying the content you're seeing, once again, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe as it helps me bring you guys content more frequently and helps our channel grow. We've seen a lot more interest recently, so I just want to say thanks to everyone who's supporting the channel. And uh, we'll try and keep on bringing you guys as much content as we can as fast as we can. All right, so let's dive into it. So I'm currently on Windows 11 here on my device and I am in my Darrow Network folder, which is where your public node, your Darrow D is, your miner and your wallet. And right now we're gonna enter the command to set up our public node and sync it using FastSync for the first time. So I'm just gonna go up here to the File Explorer address tab and hit CMD. And I've pasted in this command line. You can see that I'm currently going to start to my Dero D and I have the FastSync setting here. And then I have the node which I'm gonna pull the data from. Uh, this can be any node that's available and currently up to date on the Dero network. Uh, this is the one I've selected for this demo. So now that I have this line in here, I'm just gonna hit enter. And now you're gonna see the Dero D start to begin. And now it's going to start to pull the data and bootstrap phase one. And you can see here that it is currently syncing to the network and the percentage amount here on the right hand side. Now this is gonna run all the way from zero to 100. And it should probably take anywhere, depending on uh, the speed that you're uh, currently pulling at, uh, anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. So once this hits 100%, we can move on to step two. All right, now you can see that we have bootstrapped at 100% and we are on the next step here, which is step two. And we're currently at 87% done. And now we've just gone up to 93.75% done. And now we have bootstrapped completely. And you can see that our node now has completely synced to the most recent block on the Dero network. So now that you've gotten all the information that you need to completely sync your node to the most recent block, as you can see, we're on a public node right now. Um, if we want, we can now close this window. We can open command again. We can choose to create another command line here, which I will once again make readily available in the description down below this video. Once you paste this in, you can see that we're gonna run Dero D once again uh, to connect our node. And But this time we're going to choose to integrate our wallet address and uh, our own IP address so we can run our own independent node, uh, not reliant on a, another person's public node. And then once I hit enter, it will then start Darrow D once again. And now you can see that my node is completely synced to the most recent block and I am no longer reliant on a public node. I'm currently running my own. And now I can choose to mine or I can choose to also open up my own Darrow wallet through the command line interface, um, just you know, connected to my own node uh, like this. So this is the way to go if you want a quick connection to the Darrow blockchain. And if you guys are, once again, enjoying the content you're seeing on this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions down below, I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.